client plot. In this lesson, you will learn the meaning, the component, and how to represent the data using the line plot. Now, let's start with the meaning. The line plot means a graph that shows data at x's above a number line, like this. Here we show data using this x's above the number line, and each x has a value. Now, let's go to the components of the line plot. Here we go. First, we need a title that tell me what we are talking about in this line plot. Then, we need a number line labeled to show data using this number line. Then we need a unit of measurement to explain these numbers. It will tell me if I'm measuring length like meter, centimeter, or weight, or time, something like this. So we need a unit of measurement. Then the last and the most important, we need a key. To solve this line plot. This key will tell me the value of each x. Now let's represent the data using the line plot. Here the first example. Sally rolled a dice 16 times and kept a track of each roll in a chart. Now let's help Sally to make a line plot. What should we do? We have the title, the result of rolling the dice, and we have the unit of measurement, the outcome of rolling a six-sided dice, so that the outcome will be from one into six. Now, we have to represent data on the line plot using x's. We need the key. Here is the key. x means one roll. Let's start from one. How many times number 1 appeared? Look here, let's count with me. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number 1 appeared 5 times. Let's represent that each x will be 1 roll. Let's start 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, how many times number 2 appeared? Look here, let's count. 1, 2. Number 2 appeared just 2 times, so let's show this. It will be 1, 2. The next, number 3. Let's count from this chart. 1, 2. Here we go. Just 2. The next, number 4. Number 4 appeared just 1 time, so I will write just 1. The next, number 5. We have 1, 2. 3, 4. Number 5 appeared 4 times. Let's show on the line plot. 1, 2, 3, 4. The last number, number 6. How many times number 6 appeared? Here we have 1, 2. Just 2. So, let's draw 2 x's. 1, 2. You need to know that the first step, you look at the number line or the measurement unit, the number line that show the unit of measurement. Here, we just started from the smallest number on this dice to the biggest number. Second step, we look at the key over there. The key explains the value of x. Then, you will represent the data using x's on the number line. Now let's go to the next example. Here we have a line plot and we have a questions on this line plot. From the following line plot complete, what does this line plot show? We need to know what is this line plot talking about. Here we go, look at the title. Players ages of basketball team. And this is the answer. I will write the answer over there. The second. What does each x represent? To know the value of x, we need to go to the key. Here is the key. 
x equal to players so that x represent two players let's go to the third question how many players in the team are 23 years old let's go to the players ages here we have 23 23 years old here we have some x's do you know the value of each x yes x equal two players so we have to skip counting by two two four six eight so that eight players are 23 years old question four how many players in the team are 22 years old here we have we have two x's and one dash or half x from the key x equal two players and half x equal one player so let's count how many players in the team are 22 years here we have to count x as two players so that we have one two three four and five five players are 22 years old now let's go to the next example example three complete the table then the line plot at first we need to complete this table this table is talking about weekly time spent on homework here we go the first column the number of hours students spent on their homework then we have the number of students as tallies now we need to convert these tallies into numbers here we have how many students spent eight hours we have just the three students write three in numbers and the next this set of tallies means five students the next on 10 hours we have four students then we have five after five six so we have six students how many students spend 12 hours we have after five six seven then how many students spent 13 hours here we have one two three four four students now after finishing the table we need to complete the line plot here we go first we need a title for the line plot what is the title of this plot look here we are talking about weekly time spent on homework so this is the answer then we need to complete the number line at first we need a unit of measurement here the unit of measurement is hours we are talking about the time or hours spent here we start from 8 into 13 so the number line will be from 8 into 13 hours this is the number line start from the smallest number to the biggest number then we need to show data and x's here we go x means two students and half x equal just one student let's start how many students spend eight hours weekly on their homework we have just the three let's draw three using the x's look at the key again x means two students and the half x mean one we need at first one two as x then three the next nine nine hours we have five students so that we will draw one two three four and five as half x 10 hours we have four students let's draw them one two three four the next 11 hours we have six students let's draw them one two three four 
five, six. Here we have how many students spent 12 hours? Seven students from the table. Let's draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven is half X. Thirteen. How many students spent 13 hours? Just four. Let's draw them. One, two, three, four. And this is how to show data using the line plot. At first, we need a title. Then, we need a measurement unit or a unit of measurement to explain the number line. The number line it is starting from the smallest number to the biggest number. And we need a key to show me the value of x. And this was our lesson. Thank you.